How's it going? I'll be happy to answer any questions I can. What do you know about Nick Mullins, if anything? Well, I'll get a hold of Brett Favre and learn a little bit more. Jalen Richard has helped us a little bit. He's a good player in the preseason, athletic guy. And, um, you know, you'd never underestimate anybody in this league. He did some really good things <clears throat> as a quarterback in the preseason. We're, we're, we got a lot of respect for whoever's under center. Center yeah, I think so. You got to prepare for this running game and everything that comes off of it. You know, if you can't stop the running game against Shanahan, you got no chance because they have as good a move the pocket system and play action system as there is in the league. So um, we're going to prepare for the structure of their system. We expect them to run the ball and play action pass. What was the uh, message to the team when, when they see a well respected guy in the locker room retire? Uh, you know, it's uh, eye-opening. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's, you know, anything that's never happened before. I think, I don't know, I don't think it was real dramatic, but um, we missed, we, we, we did mention it, and we wish him the very best. You have two quarterbacks who are questionable for this game. Does not having DRC on a short week put you guys in something of a bind? No, I mean, uh, we're going to miss him, obviously. He's, he's a guy that uh, had, had learned our system. Nick Nelson is back now. His role will probably increase, and uh, we'll see what happens. John, okay. I was going to say, with Nelson, do you, do you see him playing mostly slot, or can he go outside? To do he can play outside. He's, uh, I think, his long-term upside is as a nickel corner. He dressed up today, Halloween costume. He was Leon Hall today, <laughs> so uh, you know he's had a great role model to learn from. I think down the road he's going to be a great nickel corner, but I think he's got the range to play left and right corner. He had three different hairstyles. How did that work? He had a um, like a tube over his head, like a bald thing. <laughs> it's pretty well done. John Feliciano, you know, he's stepped in three times now as a starter. This past game is pretty noticeable, just how physical he is in the run game, what he brought to you guys. What is the value of someone who can step in from the sideline and give you that caliber of performance? That's important because he can do it at three positions. You know, he can play center, he can play right guard or left guard. And um, unfortunately, we had an injury to our left guard and still not quite 100% sure about Kleche's status for this game, but it's a valuable guy, obviously. You know, the guy that can not only come in and execute the assignments, but somebody that can come in and play good. And he played good for us against the Colts. Interior line depth because of Feliciano is more advanced than where you guys stand at tackle. Has that afforded you guys to be a little more patient and clutchy, just having somebody down? We're trying to get the big man back as soon as possible. He's, um, I think he's a difference maker, you know, in the NFL. So uh, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> we'll get him out there early in pregame and see if he's ready to go. You know what? I don't think so. I think that's uh, a long shot right now. Okay. We just activated him. It's been a long layoff for him. He had no off-season program, no padded practices. He's had really one padded practice since he's come back. So we, we have had some time to evaluate him uh, and get his conditioning right. Uh, perhaps next week uh, after this game would be a good, good time to start thinking more seriously. How do you get more pressure on the quarterback? Well, obviously, we got to stop the run. You know, it all starts with getting at bats. You know, if you get two at bats a game and you get intentionally walked, you don't get to swing the bat. We haven't been able to get enough looks. Um, you know, you got to win on first down. You got to win. You got to get them in second and ten, third and eights. You know, when they're in second and fours and third and twos and they're not in enough third downs, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. So I think it start, starts with stopping the run, getting them in a predictable situation. And uh, guys are going to have to win, obviously, in one-on-one. -on -one, but sometimes the scheme can help, too. But you'd like to be able to unload your scheme a little bit if you had more of an opportunity. So uh, I think there's a lot that goes into it. OK, guys. Thanks. All right, have a great day, guys.